Grace, by virtue of the authority committed to me, I welcome you as an honorary doctor of Canterbury Christchurch University. Thank you, Paul, for those gracious words. I'd like to start by thanking Canterbury Christchurch University, the Honourable Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Governors and academic staff for bestowing this honour upon me. Having studied at Canterbury Christchurch University and having sat where you are receiving this award in such a memorable setting is a huge honour for me. I feel very privileged to be part of a legacy of talented sportswomen who have received this award before me. Canterbury Christchurch University deserves to be congratulated for being at the forefront in recognising the achievement of women in sport. As you have heard from Paul, my sporting journey began right here in Canterbury. It was here in this community that I grew up, nurtured, challenged and supported in many sporting passions, but latterly in hockey. When I enrolled in Canterbury Christchurch University, the university took a leap of faith in me and gave me the opportunity of a sports scholarship. This allowed me the support I needed to pursue my dream of being an elite athlete and achieving an Olympic medal. But everyone's journey is different. Nobody's journey is linear. Often when I speak about my journey, I show a timeline highlighting various events that have defined me. But perhaps, more realistically, I should show a line that resembles the peaks of the Dolomites. Because what my timeline doesn't show is the consistent highs and lows of elite sport. As expected in a high-performing sport, you have selections and non-selections. And if selected, you'll have good games, and there will also be not-so-good games. If you're lucky, you'll experience only minor injuries, Others may experience long-term long injuries. I've had training days where nothing's going right, and I feel like I will never leave Fitz and Posner's cognitive phase, and good training days where it's effortless and I've reached the third autonomous stage and everything else in between. The good and the bad, these days, they define you. Taking a leap and having the courage to throw yourself into something new Striving for more and pushing boundaries means that you won't always be successful. Yes, you might hit some roadblocks along the way. Your ability to acknowledge both success and failures in your journey is important. Knowing how to accept and appreciate failure can realize, help you realize how badly you want something, how much more you are capable of, or where the opportunity to learn lies and lead to future success. I'm sure the sport and exercise science and physical education academics here have some thoughts on this. I would be at fault if I didn't say it can sometimes be easy to forget our own resilience when navigating these difficult situations. But don't let that doubt hinder your progress. I want to encourage you to take the leap into the unknown seize a new opportunity without the fear of making mistakes. I have a quote I would like to share with you from the actor Ed Helms. Don't be afraid of fear because it sharpens you. It challenges you. It makes you stronger. And when you run away from fear, you also run away from the opportunity to be your best self. I understand those words to mean that it is only when you challenge yourself to take that leap will you find your full potential and fulfillment. So that when you look back at your own journey, regardless of the outcome, you will have a sense of pride knowing it was worth making. I'd like to finish by congratulating all the graduates here today and the members of your families for all your achievements. And wherever your journey takes you next, I wish you exciting new challenges and unforgettable moments. <laughs>